The new season of Marvel Snap is here, and the first spotlight card is Nocturne. I decided to cover her first over Blink, the season pass card, because I think she is a much better card and can fit into a lot of decks seamlessly. She has good stats at 3-5, and her ability is like a combination of Nightcrawler and Scarlet Witch, which is really cool because they are her parents in the comics. Personally, I think Nocturne is going to be a staple in Silver Surfer and the good cards decks. What makes her exceptionally strong is that she bypasses locations that don't allow on-reveal abilities or that have Cosmo on them. She can change locations only Legion can, like Dark Dimension, Deep Space, Flooded, Nowhere, Kiln, and Sanctum Sanctum. And of course, we mustn't forget about her ability to turn off Limbo. But just like with Snowguard, your opponent will know that you can turn off Limbo since she has to be on board and revealed for her to be able to move. Before we move on to the deck guide, just a quick reminder to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Surfer decks rarely have location changing cards besides Storm and sometimes Magic with some greedier Wong decks. I wanted to try Nocturne out in a hybrid move Surfer deck to make use of her energy cost and her ability to move. A lot of the cards in this deck are interchangeable. I would say the most important ones are Surfer, Brood, and Sarah. Everything else can be replaced by other cards you prefer. I originally had the Nova plus Killmonger package and Kingpin instead of Goose. Nocturne is going to make this deck extra good, but she is also replaceable with three drops of your choice. Maybe Storm or another location changing card like Quake or Scarlet Witch. There's no way to never play into any other location, right? I can Nocturne into middle. It's pretty good. Okay, I might also have to do some funny things. I think we'll have to jug on the left last turn. Oh, never mind. There's no jugging. Whatever they play will probably get moved right anyway. They probably put vision on the left and something in the middle, but whatever they play is gonna get drawn right. So maybe it's still okay. Ugh. Alright. Ship it. Good luck, me. Go right. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay, that needs to go right. No! Oh, wait! We're fine? Oh! <laughs> Let's go. The Great Web saved us. Even if uh, Taskmaster moved, we would have won anyway. Ooh, my hand is pretty good. And I have Nocturne. Nice. Don't like wasting the energy, but I want to get a Nebula out. Ravona. Are they doing some goblin stuff? I feel like they're doing some goblin stuff. Should I do Jeff on the right then? Maybe. Oh, Jeff. He's in every single deck he is. Oh. Ooh, Red Hulk. I like that. I could Spider-Man. Try to clog them on the right, but then they do have a Jeff there, so... Maybe I will just play Nocturne and try to move her into World World and then I can change it. Or we could change this middle location. Actually, let me put her on the left. So I have the option of either moving her to the vault or World Weird World. Weird World. Hard word to say. So I can always move her to the vault last turn if I don't mind picking their, you know, getting their cards. If they're not too bad. That's my card, you bish. Ooh. Ooh, how fun. I can goblin them. There's no way they play anything in the middle now. Unless they're sniping. But I'm not even streaming. Haha, <laughs> there's no way. They're gonna uh, save whatever they have for last turn. Ah, shit, no! Crap. Okay. Change of plans. Uh, I might have screwed up a little bit. I am scared. What do they have? They could have Craven, Kingpin, Jug, Sebastian Shaw, Polaris, and Sarah. I could just play Surfer, but Surfer is pretty small actually. Okay. Guessing they're gonna Jug me on the right. 
So I need to try to avoid getting drugged. They don't have my Surfer. They could try to Polaris me. I could just Magic Surfer. It's not adding a lot on the right though. I feel like they're gonna drug me on the right. This is my only chance, I think. I don't want to buff their Craven. Let's do that. Oh, is that a drug there? Oh, we did it! We won! Okay. I was so scared of the drug. <laughs> and she didn't really do much. She just acted as a 3-drop to be buffed. I could have changed World World, but I didn't want to. Because I'm mean like that. Now this hand looks much better. It's a pretty good location for me. I have my Jeff and Nocturne. I can play there and move them. They would also want to play into the Noor dimension. So they might ignore my Nebula. So this. It's looking really good for me. Ooh, 8 energy, that's a lot. Okay, well, let's do this and we can play the show out as well. That's awesome. Let's just hope they don't have a random Galactus they're gonna play in the middle. Oh, it's a destroyed deck. That's why they're just ignoring my Nebula. I see. I see how it is. Uh, this is not ideal, but it's fine. We might be able to pull Death into something that they're going to eat. Oh, if we pull her there, and then that's Carnage or something. Oh, let's go! I hope it's Carnage, or like Deathlock or something. Mm hmm. Carnage? Oh. Okay, that's fine. No two, one or two drops. This doesn't pull Jean. That's kind of annoying. Larry's in the middle, just in case they want to like Galactus or something. Alright. I honestly don't think I need that many Jeans. Just two is probably enough. Okay. No, and X23 is interesting. I thought they would have wanted to Zola the Null. Oh, I guess they want to eat the thing on the right. Oh man, I wish I had Jug. If they eat the thing on the right with Venom, the Null would be humongous. But there's nothing I can do. Maybe if I move my Nocturne this way. And hope for the best on the right. You know? I don't know if it's enough, but I hope so. Well, order Schmorder, whatever, it's fine. I don't have to uh, play her, f move her first. Okay, so what if we just do this? Surfer, and then we move her. Wait. Surfer, then we move this. Then we move her. Then we do this, this, this. Yeah, this is fine. Just in case she gives me some weird ass location. Oh my god, why is there so many things? Okay. If it's Venom on the right, we're okay. That's only 19. Above the null. Okay. Teeny tiny. We're never winning left anyway. Just hope that uh, we can't, we don't lose middle. Another gene, I think. Easy peasy. My hand is okay. I've got Nocturne, I've got Craven, and Surfer as well. Sorry, I'm still ill. Oh, it was so cold actually. Oh, I had the window open. And uh, it was really hot earlier today, but now it's actually getting kind of chilly. Oh man, if only I had brood! 
Let's do it here. That's pretty good. Um, maybe I get initiative? Ah, wait, that's actually not bad. Not bad for me at all. I and I, I go first. What do we want to move? What if I move the Spider-Man? What if I move this, actually? Maybe we can cloak them in the middle. Oh, let's go. We did it. We did it. Spider-Man being 10 is kind of scary, though. They might try to um, do the thing to us, you know? Brood in the middle is good enough, I think. Yeah, they might try to Shang-Chi us on the right. Hmm. I think I might want to play the Jeff. They might try to play the Hawk or the Bear. Which one is it that... Uh, that clogs me. That it's gonna clog me on the right. Yeah, I think they might do that. Oh no, they didn't. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's big. That's a big-ass bird. Hmm... If I play Sarah, I can't play Nocturne. Maybe I should have played Nocturne on the right. That's fine. I can play Nocturne Brood and Silver Surfer next turn. Maybe I should have played Nocturne on the right. Yeah, it's awkward. They're definitely going to like Shang-Chi me, I think, on the right. This deck runs Shang-Chi. This is just a Loki deck, isn't it? But if they do Loki, it's not gonna do much for them because they have no three drops they can buff except Elsa. Come on. I don't have all day. Why move Jeff this turn? That's kind of weird. It's only turn five. Wait, you've cloaked yourself. Oh no, you have not. I see. Hmm. I mean, I can just win middle and right now, no? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Nocturne in the middle. Surfer, uh, this on the right. Or maybe Jug. Jug is bigger, actually. And Surfer on the left. Maybe Surfer here. No. Surfer here is better. I don't need to pull it, play the Nocturne on the, in the middle, I guess. So if we just do Nocturne on the right, and then Jug in on the left, and Surfer in the middle, that's better, I think. Because I'm a little bit scared um, they're gonna Cosmo me or something. And this way I still win, I think. Yeah. All right. Ready? Okay. I, I guess they're donating a bit. Thank you. They thought they could clog me with the bear. We read their mind one turn too early. <laughs> Good luck us. Oh, we have Nocturne already. Nocturne? 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 I have no idea. Defeat Enjoyer. This is a Dare Enjoyer. Mm, do we want to do Kingpin? Yeah, a Kingpin on the left because they're gonna be playing stuff onto my Nebula, right? Yeah. Ideally, they have initiative, so I can pull their stuff. Yes, they do. Perfect. I can also play Nocturne here next turn if I want to. Just hope that's not uh, a Cosmo or something. Surprise! It's looking pretty good. And we have the Surfer. Very nice. I will play Nocturne. In case I draw Sarah next turn, I can still play Sarah onto the Nebula location. It's pretty good. A Mega Red. Oh, they probably have some kind of a Spectrum, probably, or Cosmo even. It's a bit scary. Yeah, Cosmo is a little bit scary. I'm going to move the Nocturne, probably. Iron Man. Iron Man into Spectrum, I'm guessing. So I move this out. I can actually jug them out this way. So it will be seven there. I have to play the Surfer here. Oh no, come back! Victory. Why? I didn't even snap or anything. 
Overall, I think Nocturne is a very strong and versatile card that is well worth opening Spotlight Caches for in her current state. I can't promise that she won't get nerfed, but if she does, I suspect it will be a reduction in power. The other cards in the Spotlight Caches are Kyera and Celine. Kyera is a good card to have when you want to play a zoo deck, and she's also pretty good in Thanos and High Evo decks. I'm not a huge fan of Celine, but I know some junk deck aficionados that swear by her. Overall, it's not the worst week to open caches, even if it's just for Nocturne. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, I would appreciate it if you could interact with the video by liking, commenting, and of course, subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading a video on Blink later on my channel, so keep your eyes peeled. And I'll see you next time. Bye!